Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, today I'm just getting probed. Yeah, probing the truck, we're hauling some wheat. So, we're at the terminal here. Got a couple of trucks waiting. This morning was, uh, this morning was pretty, uh, it was pretty backed up here this morning. Uh, there was a big lineup of trucks and I don't know there was something wrong because they weren't moving but uh, finally got out of here I meant I wanted to make three loads today well four loads but I don't think I will be able to do that so I will be uh, just making hopefully three this is my second so they're open till seven and you can see the little sign there that tells you what you gotta do if you got super bees you gotta back up and move ahead. Oh, see, I'm ready to go, so. Just make sure he's cleared. Yep, there we go. So I just, uh, move on up behind the truck and wait my turn. Of warm out today it's uh, minus 11 it's supposed to warm up to minus 5 so it's almost uh, zero or, or 32 Fahrenheit um, uh, we had a problem with the D8 cat I got a call yesterday that uh, one of the sprocket segments that we had put on fell off and it went missing so I had called in and apparently you cannot buy one, you have to buy a set. You cannot buy one, one segment piece. So that's like a $700 uh, sprocket piece, three tooth sprocket, 700 bucks. So uh, I know there was a, on the video that I had, they were welded, that people saw, and then a couple people told me I should just weld them back up again and weld them together. Um, that's exactly what Union Tractor told me. They said they should have been welded. They actually said, whoever did that, go slap them in the face. <laughs> uh, they, they, when they put them on, you weld them. And when you take them off, you cut the welds off and put a new set on and you re-weld them again. So, um, there was one sprocket on that right hand side that I didn't put it on, but I'm not going to name any names, but I don't know if that's the one that came off, but there was they forgot to put the thread lock on the threads of the three bolts so if that was the one you know but they said they had said that even even thread lock and compound is still not enough you gotta weld them so uh, if they're welded at least if the bolts come loose you won't lose the sprocket so uh, that'll be one of I think maybe oh I don't know sometime when that whenever we get that sprocket in I'm gonna do some I'm gonna weld them all before we work it again so you'll see a video on that but yeah other than that not much going on right now just gonna finish hauling this wheat in our uh, uh, truck and trailers broke down right now the auto shift something something wrong with it so I'm gonna work on that yet before we figure out what it is there is it's all that uh, read the codes and stuff like that so uh, we're gonna do a hard reset on it by taking the cables off and uh, see because they're very voltage sensitive so we're gonna clean up the cables make sure they're working right and then go from there so I'm just hauling this by myself we only have 2600 bushels to haul left so I just do it myself no rush you get a whole week to haul it so. yeah but instead just waiting to get in there there's where you can drive in and unload in that uh, left hand side there so yeah that's uh like i said this morning i was here for a good hour had to have been an hour before i made it to there back in the lineup and there was people behind me but i kind of thought it wasn't going to be too bad because after i got out there was nobody here so either that everybody got mad and they're not gonna haul anymore today so <laughs> which is good for me but yeah anyway thanks for watching Make sure you subscribe for more uh, and make sure you comment.
Uh, I haven't uh, responded to any comments yet, but I get uh, a little bit busy sometimes and I'm just too tired. And uh, But I like to do it anyway, so I'll uh, probably get to that. But leave your comments and I'll uh, answer you and get back to them. Alright, thanks for watching.